All right, hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike with Below Average Blogger, and today's video, I wanted to discuss with you some code optimizations I have found that have improved my Ezoic Leap optimization. Um, for those of you who are on Ezoic, you may or may not be using Ezoic Leap, and if you are, once it starts running, you will see page speed improvements. However, in the technology sub tab right here, you will see that it will list a series of issues that is causing your site not to perform as optimally as it should. Well, some of these, obviously you're not gonna be getting rid of, and some of these, as you see, it says it's fine that it's on there. So you don't need to remove everything that's on there. However, some of these will give you warnings and say it's a severe impact on your site. For example, um, the last one I have left is my theme, which is Astra, and it says 51% of domains using this technology perform significantly worse than the average site. Now, it'll go into detail on this, and it explains that Astra is a fast theme. However, with the more you add to it, blocks, builders, plugins, the more you put on it, the slower Astra performs. But my site is pretty clean to begin with. I don't have a lot of plugins, and I'm running very fast. So I didn't fix this one issue, but previous to this, I had a severe warning for Google Fonts, I had a severe warning for jQuery Migrate, and I had a severe warning for Dashicons. Now, if you do some reading up, you'll see that jQuery Migrate on the front end for most sites and themes is not necessary anymore, and disabling it or removing it is okay. And I've tested this, I backed it up multiple times and, and kind of did some playing around and made sure there was no issues to the site and there's been no issues and it's vastly improved the speed. Um, same thing with Dashicons, I don't use them, I don't need them and they were slowing me down. Same thing with Google Fonts. So when I started doing research on how to remove these things, it wasn't as easy as it looked. Google Fonts isn't so hard to remove. Um, things like Dashicons, I couldn't find anywhere to do it and things like jQuery migrate was specifically hard to find out how to remove that or at least put in a code that would end it. Now I did find several optimization plugins, auto optimize and some other ones, perf matters that will allow you to just to hit a toggle switch and it'll, it'll solve those issues for you. However, if you're on Ezoic Leap, you know that they don't allow or they request that you remove any optimization plugins as it will likely interfere with Ezoic Leap technology. So Leap has told me to remove these things. I can't use plugins to remove them. So what's my solution? Now there's standalone plugins that are designed just to remove jQuery Migrate, standalone plugins that can remove a single thing like a Dashicon. But I don't wanna add these third-party plugins that are not very big, not very well-trusted, just to do this one little thing that likely a snippet of code could do. So I ended up, after way too much time spent figuring this out, I found some code snippets that will, for me so far, have safely removed these and drastically improved the speed, even with Leap. And Leap is now running pretty optimally. Um, the last severe warning I have is for my theme, but again, my theme is very light. My add-ons are very light. My features are very light. I have a very fast site as it goes. So I'm not gonna remove Astra, and I think that is a general warning for Astra users, and if you have a very big site full of features using Astra, this might be an issue for you, but for me it wasn't. So how did I implement these code snippets? Well, you can enter them yourself, um, or you can use a plugin like Code Snippets, which will easily allow you to just identify each snippet of code you have, toggle it on, toggle it off if you wanna use it, as well as test it on certain pages, so I use the Code Snippets plugin for the Code Snippets that have removed jQuery Migrate, Dashicons, um, and you can also use it for Google Fonts. Um, I'm gonna link a website here by Geekflare, and they have a blog post that says 14 WordPress performance optimizations to do without a plugin. And anytime you can optimize without a plugin, um, it's a good thing to do because, as you know, plugins interfere, they bloat, they can slow it down, they can cause vulnerabilities to your site. So the less plugins, the better. And if you can do these things yourself without using a plugin, it's always going to be optimal. All right. And so he provides in this 14 things, everything from removing jQuery migrate as discussed to limiting post revisions, disable heartbeats, disable dash cons on the front end, remove query strings. It's got it's got a lot of things it can do in here. However, I only needed removing dash cons on the front end and I only needed to remove jQuery migrate. So those are small code snippets as you can see here. It's not very big. 
I did enter it into a code snippets plugin and you will see I did a jQuery migrate code removal. So adding this snippet of code from that website that's linked below, um, you have the option to run it in an administrator area, run it on the front end, run it once, run it everywhere. And I would definitely caution anyone who plans on trying to add this plugin, start messing with the code snippets on your website, your theme, you have a potential to cause some problems for your website if it hasn't been tested against your theme and if it's not compatible. So I would highly recommend doing a backup of your site, a complete backup, then running these code snippets to ensure that there's no problems. Um, and once you feel comfortable with your testing, then you can kind of go live with these code snippets and continue using them. Now, once I did add these code snippets, remove jQuery migrate, remove front end dasher cons and removed Google fonts, my site was already pretty fast. And then that just really kicked it up to that top 1%. Um, and so everything is running very fast. And overall, I'm just very happy that I was able to figure this out without adding plugins and other optimization um, plugins that might just be interfering with my site or interfering with these Zoic's Leap. So now I've stripped all these excess plugins. I don't have any optimization plugins. I'm only running the Zoic plugin and Rank Math and some code snippet, just very basic plugins. Um, Amma links and link whisper. I think it's about all I got and I'm now running in the high 90s on um, Well low 90s on mobile high 90s on desktop, which is the best I've ever had on um, My sites for the last year and so while I'm sure you can tweak even further and get 99 100 98 I'm it's one of those things where it's like my pitcher is getting on a no-hitter right now And I'm, I'm not gonna talk to him just do your thing and so if I'm in the 90s I'm green on both mobile and desktop I am happy. I had CLS issues. Um, the Zoic Leap uh, technology coupled with these code snippets to remove those front end bloat on the site has drastically improved performance. And I just thought I would share it with you because I spent hours trying to find the solution without using an optimization plugin that would interfere with Leap. And I found one, I tested it, I backed things up, retested it, everything works great. And so I will link the site down below and that's it. I hope it's useful for you. I hope it kind of solves any of your optimization tweaks for your Ezoic Leap. And I hope you guys are out there killing it, making money, and have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.